Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will talk about Arduino processors. So, this is the outline of the presentation. First I will introduce Arduino and some of uh, Arduino projects, things you can do with Arduino and then we will discuss which is the best Arduino you can, uh, you can select and then uh, I will just briefly describe the Arduino IDE and also Arduino Create and talk about uh, Arduino and ESP in IoT, what, what is best for you. So, uh, Arduino is an open hardware platform uh, that uh, has development boards and an integrated em uh, development environment. It's, this is IDE. Okay? It is very popular, obviously, and the main reason because of that is because their designs are open. And um, they, um, they allow you to interact with all kind of uh, low power electronics at 5 or 3 volts, indeed and uh, you can work with uh, digital inputs, outputs, analogs, uh, signals as well, PBWMs, all type of communication buses and so on, okay? So it allows you to, in the end to interact with the physical world and that's what made Arduino uh, very popular in a very simple way. Uh, the thing is that uh, obviously uh, the limited uh, processor, uh, processing uh, its, um, uh, sorry, the, the the processing performance is limited, so this is not a microprocessor, it's a microcontroller. You have to understand obviously the difference between them, okay? And the most known boards are Arduino Uno, Mega, Nano, Dua Milenove and many others that I will explain some of them right now, okay? So here you have some of the uh, Arduino projects that I took from internet. Actually, these two images, they correspond to a, a robot uh, course that I have also in EADX, EDX, sorry, and they, uh, this is a course actually or for creating a, a robot, it's called DIOR, D-W-O-R, so you can Google for that, and uh, we, we talk about how to create a robot using Arduino. And, uh, but obviously not, with Arduino you can generate many kind of, many kind of uh, projects and, uh, and even products, obviously, uh, here you have a drone, a spider, you have a, a music project here, you have a wearable here, this is a greenhouse, this is a project working with displays and LEDs, so this is a traffic light, this is a 3D printer, and so on, okay, so this is for home automation, there are many more. Okay, and you can have actually here in, uh, in Create Arduino, you have the project hub, in which you have a list of, a huge list of uh, projects that you can take a look to them. So the question that naturally arises is which is your, the best Arduino for your application and obviously this depends what you want to do, but uh, in, in, the, in the contents of this, uh, this course I would say that uh, I would move to Arduino Zero because it has obviously uh, Wi-Fi uh, communications. So the classic one, it's Arduino Uno, Nano and Mega, they are working with the Atmega 328 processor. This is an 8-bit uh, processor, so it's very simple, it has low uh, power consumption in general, um, but also has a, a small RAM, ROM and clock speed is small too, but it's very easy to work with and it works with 5 volts. And um, it has a pinout that has become a standard, okay? Then we have the Arduino Leonardo, Arduino Micro, they use the Atmega 32U4. They, this is mostly the, the main characteristic, it, it has a built-in USB interface, so it allows you to uh, create devices that uh, work as a USB um, device, so like joysticks, keyboards, mouses and so on. So this is interesting whenever you want to connect this device to a computer or some, somewhere else, okay? And obviously, the, uh, in this case, the Leonardo has a pinout compatible with Arduino Uno. And then, as I said, uh, then we have the, the Maker series, the Arduino Zero. They are working uh, with the SAM D21 processor. This is a 32-bit processor, so it's much more powerful. And the Zero has, in this case, so that's why I recommend it, has a, the same pinout as the Arduino Uno and in, uh, it works with 3.3 volts, so this is important because not all the electronics they are ready for these uh, voltages and the most important thing is that these boards are ready for IoT projects, okay, because they allow you to have Wi-Fi communications. 
The Maker series they use actually a ESP, an, an ESP32 processor to, uh, to perform the Wi-Fi communication. So Arduino IDE, Integrated Development Environment, is the software that uh, we will use in order to program Arduino. But actually it's the software that we will use also to, provide, uh, to program third-party hardwares like the ESP32 in this case or, or, or other ESP uh, devices. So the, the advantage of this, of this application obviously is, is lightweight, it's cross-platform, it allows you to install or manage your boards and has a full uh, integrated set of libraries with many features and uh, it's very very easy to use because in the end you just simply have a set a function, a loop function where to put your code, you can verify your code, you can upload it, you can save, obviously create new file and you have a monitor here and in the tools you can select your board, your port, things like that. Okay, so it's very easy, I'm pretty sure you will manage it soon to to, uh, to handle with the Arduino IDE, you have to make sure that you have the correct uh, board and, uh, and port selected here, as you can see here, there, yep. And uh, then what we have is also Arduino Create. Arduino Create is a platform, it's an on online uh, platform in which includes an Arduino web editor, so you can work online and create uh, and program your Arduino code online you have tutorials, you have the, Ar the, the Arduino project half I mentioned before, you can have access to the, the store and also to some IoT cloud services that Arduino is providing, okay? So it's interesting for you to know that Arduino Create you can, uh, you can access there, okay? And in this, in this slide I would like to uh, discuss about the use of Arduino in IoT. Okay, in my opinion, uh, the Arduino uh, uh, has not uh, taken the advantage for creating IoT devices because ESP32 processors that were created by the company Expressive uh, were the first processors that uh, developed these kind of um, uh, uh, processors to, in order to communicate with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at a very very low cost. Okay? So in this sense Arduino is not necessarily the best uh, option for you in order to work with, Arduino, uh, with IoT uh, applications. So, um, but anyway, Arduino right now it's focused obviously in, in, in the integrating and developing all their processors for Internet of Things and specifically the Maker series they are uh, clearly created for that so they have a power uh, um, um, consumption and they have different connectivity options. And here you have uh, some uh, opinions about uh, using Arduino and ESP32, so you can, uh, you can take a look to them so, so you, you can create your own opinion about what's best for you, okay? So thank you very much and I hope to see you on my next presentation.